Nima Nandidi, and I'll be teaching you how to draw a fish. Draw a shape that kind of looks like an eye. Don't make it too long, or else it's not going to look like a fish. Then, draw a tail. It's kind of like a thin triangle here, but it doesn't go like that. And another thin triangle there, but it doesn't go like that either. That makes a tail. Then for the fin, you can just draw a little bump and draw a little bump higher. But you don't do that on the bottom fin. You just draw a little tiny bump. Then, draw a curve like a little bit away from the beginning. Then, draw a circle for the eye. Then, draw a curved line for the mouth. You can draw these little lines for the smile, but you don't need to. Then, draw a curved line for the eyeball. And another tinier curved line for, like, to show that the eyes are shining. Then, color it in. Then draw the scales. You can draw a lot at the front, and then you get a little bit more less scales as you go back. But if there's enough space, you can fit one in. You want to try to keep a steady straight line for the scales, but it's okay if it's a little crooked. Then for the tail, you can just draw little stripes. Now, for the background, you can just draw the water. Then, you know, the ocean floor does have a lot of rocks. So you can draw one coral reef and draw some rocks. Another coral reef, draw some rocks. But you don't want the same amount of rocks on each face or else it's just going to look like a pattern. But coral reefs and rocks are patterns, they're nature. So, you can draw a little medium one on the first one, and then a long one on the second one, and a small one on the third one. And then, you just don't want to keep doing rocks and coral reefs, rocks and coral reefs. You want to try doing something that's interesting or you can erase if you make a mistake. But you want to try doing something that's interesting. Like a cave. You can't draw the whole cave because the edge of the paper is right there. But if you have room, you can. And then you want this line to be a little crooked because it's not like perfect. You want this line to be a little crooked too. But it can be a little curvy. Right? Then you can draw these little bumps like I showed you on my last video, the second tutorial. The mountain scenery to just show that the ocean is flowing. You don't need to put other fish because this could be like the only fish. Or you don't need to put other animals either. Remember, don't put a lot of these, but you, I mean, this would be a good amount to show that it's flowing. Then, you can take like a color and color this part. The front, it's face.
you for watching. Subscribe for more such videos.